How's it going guys? Welcome back to Diablo 1, the Beelzebub mod. This is how I get to where Andariel is. I was just given this quest in the previous episode there. Wanted to go take care of that right away because it was really cool and it's new. I could have sworn that this opens up as a way to access hell. Because after the caves is hell? Or it might be caves something hell. But anyways, I thought this is the way you access that. Like the way you enter the cathedral. The catacombs over there, the caves right, literally right here. But apparently this is how I get to the forest or whatever, where these strange lights are. Forest's edge. Spooky sounds, really fucking dark ass forest. This is nuts. This is the coolest of the new things that I think have been introduced. Wow, that guy really missed Frost Charger, for some reason a, a frost dude. Uh, pit Beasts. And a, what the what the hell kind of clan was that guy? A drunk clan? <laughs> I didn't really get to, it was a very brief dusk dusk clan. Decapitated body. This is cool. I I I think I can put my finger on the reason that I'm I'm so excited about this one in particular is that there's nothing above ground in this game normally. This is the first time that's been the case like the first time ever all the other the, the other added quests going into Farnham's basement and stuff you're still like going underground and, and separate from the town or whatever now all of a sudden this is something that's taking place like next to Tristram oh I I was kind of avoiding this because I thought maybe uh oh god it just hurts me I thought maybe walking towards it would take me to the area where Andario was or something like that maybe not where she is but you know this is the forest's edge it would take me into the dark the darks of the forest or something like that but no all of a sudden now there's like demons running around outside and stuff shit feels a lot more real and a lot more close to home it's not buried under 14 layers of, of stairs and and caves and ridiculous shit like that right so this is dope and there's just decapitated bodies everywhere and they're all decapitated there's a, a lot of them, more than I realized at first. So that's kind of chilling, too, when the way the quest is introduced is, like, people are being lured away from town here, which has been, like, an ongoing thing. People are being killed by demons all the time. The cathedral and stuff, everyone's well aware of that. Now, all of a sudden, this shit's happening on, like, our front porch, like, just beyond the, the edge of town there. Although I don't really know how, like, a, a gaping hole in the middle of the ground takes you there. I'm guessing when this was originally in the game there was going to be another way to access it because entering a forest through a weird hole in the ground is uh, peculiar. The lights are kind of haunting. I'm pretty sure it's the attacks. Oh my god. What, Greyhorn the boner? The boner. You're kidding me. He ruined me. Glory horn. No. No, you did not make a character who is essentially just a glory hole joke, did you? Like, listen, listen to those sounds he makes. Those are the sounds he's making when he's doing the boning. Nasty. Nasty son of a bitch. Didn't expect him to have come running out of his hole like that and bashing me up good out of his glory hole. I don't even... I feel like I was in the middle of saying something and got super side railed there. I should ask more people about this quest since I'm quite excited about it. Rolf and Aeneas are missing? Life protect us! Stupid name, Roof. Our only hope of returning to a peaceful life rests in you. Please, you must. Oh, the two little boys. boys and bring them home to their family. Okay, yeah, but like, there's a lot of decapitated bodies out there, which I think is what I was talking about just a second ago. They probably don't really have much of a family to come home to. I think them and everyone they've ever known and loved, uh, they've all been decapitated. Pippin, I'm sorry to say, not gonna be bringing them home to anyone. In all likelihood, I'm just going to be finding more decapitated bodies. I don't think I'm going to go mess with the boner right away. The boner. Cool DJ name. I'll just lay down a portal and explore some of the other outskirts of this. The edge of the forest edge. I think I finished saying it. But yeah, I think that's the attack that the succubuses use when you get down into, like, hell. And... They're fucked. They're very strong. Oh, we got another unique guy here. Shield the Torturer. 
take some of these guys out before they all close in on me. I don't want every single one of them attacking me at once. That's bad news. What's with things exploding? Screen shake deaths now. It's totally a new thing to the mod, I think. Screen shake is very much like a modern video game design technique, I think. I'm sure there's other things that did it sooner, but like to use it that commonly seems like it must have been added much more recently. I wish they would have used a different monster than like the uh, the rhino guys. The moon clans and and the the spitters and stuff seem to fit well here, but there was the big the big rhino things seem like they fit best like down in the caves. It's kind of absurd to have these guys all running around here because if like a group of five of them decided that they wanted to go for Tristram, they would just rip that place to shreds. They are they look like they would just be unstoppable. It makes me it makes it less believable that this town is like holding out against the demons when there's these things running around, you know? Like these glowing red things are the weird lights that have been attracting people, right? Cause wind wound, because if they get close to them, they're just getting killed. Sure you're attracted by the light for, for like a heartbeat there, but as soon as you get to it, you're toast. Mastery? Fuck off, I was hitting the button, I just Oh, I'd already used up that slot in my belt. But that guy's thing was mastery? Mastery of what? Being a dick. Well, I'm glad I ended up chucking down that uh, that portal, because let me go do that now. Hey! Uh, Tree Mane, you weren't even in the original game. What kind of quests do you have to give? This, I wonder if this has to do with me going down to level 12 early. called upon to help one of the men that escaped from the labyrinth. He was deranged, violent, and kept lashing out at all of those who tried to calm him. I suspected that he was possessed by some sort of demonic entity. And Is he still in the village here somewhere? I hope you guys chopped his head off. After many hours, I was able to exorcise a demon who called himself Flesh Doom. But the Hellion... Flesh Doom? Yeah, real cool name there, Flesh Doom. Hogden just almost went straight through the portal there. Of hell itself. Finally, the man who was possessed retained memories of an ancient demon blade named Shadowfang. If you find the demon flesh doom, beware this foul sword. That's another sword, though. I don't want another sword. Grow even greater. You must find flesh doom and slay him. Bring the sword to me, and I can destroy it. But do not wield it, for its power can corrupt absolutely. I'm curious if using it would do anything crazy, or if it would just be like... Uh, I don't, it just is a negative vitality or something like that, right? Uh, he has something to say about Flesh Doom, not about Andariel. Do you have anything to say about Flesh Doom? That's crazy. Hmm. I would really like to meet the guy who had the exorcism performed. Maybe he's resting up in that church or whatever it is. But yeah, that seems like that quest could have opened up some very interesting doorways there. People are aware that like demonic possessions are a thing and, and exorcisms are a legit option and stuff. How come no one did anything about like Lazarus? Motherfucker. Uh, how come no one did anything about Lazarus when he was clearly... Maybe he, he might not have been um, legitimately possessed. He might have just been a dick who was willing to like sell himself out. Farnham will have something interesting to say about Flesh Doom. Well... I'm the exception then, I suppose, because that's what I'm going to do. Not a very exciting quest. It seems like it would be a very easy one to to make full, you know. I get why, when it's kind of a boring quest like that, why you would cut it. Oh my god, Boner Guy and Wind Wound are, are running around there. Yep, that's what he's called too, Boner Guy. That's his legit name. Uh, but it would make sense to cut it because it's not that exciting of a quest, but like, if it's not that exciting of a quest, what, what more could have been needed to like, add the polish to it to insert it into the game fully, you know? 
I'm very frightened of his poison. Oh, fucking, it was a mana potion instead of a health potion. My god, I'm just getting ruined out here. <sighs> it's gonna be a pain in the ass to refind my fucking gold and everything. All the many much gold I've dropped from the many deaths. I don't like the monsters down in this, uh, down in this town. This forest. It's not going well for me. Yeah, he immediately ran off in the other direction. Fucking just standing in his poison just ruins you. I gotta do everything I can to avoid actually standing in it for longer than like a second. My god, I almost died again. Why the fuck is this boner one of the hardest fucking things I've had to fight? I almost got him, got him on the ropes. Come on, just finish him off. Kill each other, whatever, good enough, at least he's fucking dead. But that is also very annoying. I am very irritated to be dead yet again. Really ruining my numbers here. I died a lot in this playthrough. A solid five, six times, something like that. To die like four or five in one episode, eh, it doesn't look very good. Now allow me to run around and find all the big gold piles that are from my deaths. Three of them so close together there. And now I know the way is clear to go reclaim the original boner pile. There we go. Now I'm now I'm back loaded again. Hmm. That was just a, a cool little event that triggered of him running out of the cave there, but yeah, not a whole lot of anything to it. I can't, like, go in the cave myself or anything. That way's blocked off. I figure I gotta just keep heading on kind of northwards. It's got an arcane curse from, from hitting one of those stupid glowy things. Reduced magic resistance. Oh shit, a rare ring. I'm super curious to see what the actual, like, sprite or monster or whatever will look like for Andariel. Because the graphics are notably different and improved in Diablo 2. Like, they're done in a, a different enough style that I don't think you could just copy it right over. Oh my sweet fuck. I don't want to mess with that shit. Not right now. Not while there's still a bunch of other monsters running around on the map. I don't know if that's Andariel or if that's just a bunch of succubuses or whatever, but that looked awful. Like, for the sake of this mod, maybe they just slapped the Andari or uh, Diablo 2 Andariel model into here, but, like, for the original game, I wonder if they made it far enough to uh, draw up their own unique original version of Andariel that they just never got a chance to use. Oh, it's totally, it's totally just a different uh, version of a succubus. I wonder if they were just like, ah, let's cut this quest to save it for, to save Andariel for Diablo 2? This is, if I keep my distance here, only a handful of these things actually hit me while they're wiggling around on the screen. I think if you were like a melee, like going in here like the warrior, that would be really, really difficult to handle. Like, god damn it. A unique amulet and a, a rare cap and a ring? That's good for me. That's like a sick haul that I just got out of there. Sorry, every dead body that <laughs> had to die at the hands of that wench before I was able to take her down. The, the, the That whole family, I don't think they're getting reunited. Or I guess you could consider this a reunion, but it's not a very happy one. I, but hey, I got some sweet jewelry out of it. I, I paid my price. I died plenty of times to to get this. <laughs> There's one more of my death piles, actually. I didn't realize there was another one. I died more than I thought. I paid my toll. It's just that for whatever reason, I'm magic and get to come back to life. And that's, you guys should have just thought ahead a little bit before you went went dying with your silly mortality. I'm gonna flip myself back off to town and see what kind of goodies I got. Oh, it's a rare cap. I don't really give a shit about a cap. <laughs> kind of dog shit, isn't it? For some reason, Jillian was the only one worried about everyone going missing. Probably because she just wanted lots of patrons in her bar, but it's really weird that she's the only one who brought it up. Beautiful women, you say? That's horrible. Thank the light that you solved this 
mystery that was more were lured to their deaths. Thank you for keeping us safe from the powers of darkness once again. That version of Andariel equally as naked as the one that shows up in Diablo 2, but more the size of an actual human being, and it was just wings instead of weird spider hook claws or whatever. Much more believable that people were being seduced by that thing than they were by uh, the, the version I'm picturing from Diablo 2. Let's see what this amulet is. And the ring. The ring could prove to be quite good as well, but I already have two unique rings. Be unlikely to replace that. Uh, this thing is six to all attributes, which is hard to replace. No, that, that pretty much sucks. The spirit turn. Critical chance, magic items, hit points. It's all right. Uh, hit recovery, though, all attributes. Hit points, resist all. That one's not that great. I'm going to go with this one for now, actually. The resist all is nice, but uh, I, think, uh, I think I'm going to go ahead with the new ring. And what do I have for an amulet? Chance to hit is good, resist lightning, whatever, hit points, whatever, light radius, blah, 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 blah. This is plus five dollar attributes, super dope. Oh, and, and it's the Maiden's Brooch, and resist fire, regenerate two mana per five seconds, which isn't great, and hit steals mana. Stealing mana is nothing crazy important or, or anything like that, but the attributes is good. And regenerating mana is useful for just the now and again when I need to use like a town portal or whatever. On a scale, not like the greatest items, but I'm good enough that I'll start making use of two of those for sure. And I'll stick the ring in my stash where I keep all my old, old uniques. Can't, can't bring myself to actually get rid of those. Well, yeah, that rounds out the Andario quest then. Managed to take care of that whole thing. I now I have this island of the Sunless Sea and the Flesh Doom that are totally new though. I think Flesh Doom is probably just going to end up being while I'm progressing through the caves or whatever anyways I'll come across that. That island one I have no idea what any of that shit's about so next time I will I, I'm going to put this down for tonight. I've played a couple hours of it now. I, I'll run down to level 12 immediately run back up to level 11 and figure out what I might have missed there if anything. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.